Everyone was back, but they couldn't find that old man. Soon we left the lake, and as we were leaving, we saw a park ranger. We told him everything, and he looked confused. He said that no one didn't go out from this area before us, which meant that man came from the woods in this lake. When I heard of it, I was terrified, but now I'm glad that I'm okay. But I still think about what could have happened to me if the man managed to get inside the car. I'm 17 now, but this happened when I was 13 years old. My mom couldn't pay for the household on her own since my parents divorced. So she rented one room and I used to share a room with my mom. I had one older brother and he was staying with his dad. And that night, I had to sleep around 9 p.m. because I had school.
just to get notified every time that I post. I try to post every second day. Now, less talking and more walking. Let's go. All right, you guys, the adventure begins. I'm going to be walking through this forest to get to the house to avoid getting spotted by the cranky neighbors and by any police that's in the area. I guess the one main benefit of having to sneak around through the forest is I'm getting my exercise in today, getting some good cardio. Not gonna lie, I am kind of nervous to go and do this all by myself. Whew. Like, I'm not making this up, I am all alone. Don't worry, I do have my quarantine masks in case I have to quarantine myself in this house the entire night. I don't even know if I am gonna stay the entire night. I just wanna capture some type of paranormal activity on camera and on audio, hoping we get lucky today. Sometimes we get lucky, sometimes we don't. But this place, I know for a fact, it's extremely active because rituals have taken place in this house. And the first time I showed up to this place, I found some type of ritual in one of the bedrooms. The second time I went back, it wasn't there anymore. Hopefully, there's new evidence of it today. All right, here we go. Going into the creepy looking forest where everything looks like it's dead. Oh, my heart is beating so hard right now. It's scary enough to go into these places with a friend, but it's a million times scarier to go alone. I just don't know what I'm going to find inside this house. I'm hoping there's no squatters inside. No one just chilling there. Oh, what the hell? There's a river down there. I never knew there was a river over there. So if you guys can see right through there, that's where the house is way down there. So far, it's looking good. I don't see nobody. So let's go. Hey, what the hell is this? Looks like some type of cage left behind. Probably to catch animals at one point in time. That's creepy. I find it strange that from far away I thought this was a freaking river. <laughs> I guess my eyes were playing tricks on me. But the house, like, oh look, there's another. Oh I said I guess it's time to go to bed. I guess it's time to go home. Wake up in the morning. Go to bed. And yeah. Jesse, it's time to get out. Okay, I'm up. Thanks. You're welcome. I guess it's time to go. right here. Oh, that's creepy. Jesus. I wonder what they use this for. So it looks like this place had a swimming pool at one point and above ground one because it's all destroyed. And the stairs for the pool are over there. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Hello? Anyone inside this creepy abandoned house? Okay, two meters is going crazy. 
crazy. Whoa. The fact that it's gone is crazy. At this time right now, it's currently 7 p.m. This is super creepy. Last time I was here, we had a lot of activity happening upstairs. I got touched by something and hoping it doesn't happen again. Let's make my way upstairs now. Anyone up here? Look at that. 